Awesome BMX here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Aliens in Red Dead Redemption. May not be the DLC that we all hope for, but stick around because we're starting right now. Yes, you heard me right. They are aliens in Red Dead Redemption story mode. You guys may have heard or seen the rumor. We actually talked about it a little bit in our video last week about an alien DLC that someone rumored to be. Well, that has come out to be a complete hoax. Uh, that's why we told you to take it at a grain of salt. And we just talked about what it could entail and if you would enjoy it. Uh, we knew it probably wasn't that big of a real rumor. Well, rumors are just that. They could not be true. But there is a way to see aliens in Red Dead Redemption story mode. That's why everyone thought it could be correct. And we're going to be doing that right now in this video. As you can see, we're playing as John right now in story mode. And there is a little side quest that if you do it in the correct order, you can see some aliens in Red Redemption story mode. There are a whole bunch of weird stuff that happens in this game. We, meteors, meteor showers, vampires, all kinds of crazy stuff. This little story side quest is just one of those really weird ones. Let's head on over where we need to go. Let me show you the map real quick. So as you can see, we're up above, or pretty close up above Emerald Ranch. We need to go to this little shack that's right here above this little pond just north of Emerald Ranch. You guys can see it on the map right there. We're going to head down the tracks real quick and head over there. Make sure you go there during the day so you can get a really good view of what's inside this shack because there is definitely a lot to think about and ponder. Alright, as you can see when you head up there, there's not much out here really. Run down shack, broken down wagons outside. There is something really weird hanging from here if you can see. If I get the angle right, you can see that it's like an, a doll with long hair, kind of like an Indian burial type thing can't really see it very well. Hope you guys can get a good view of it on the video here. That might be a best right there with the contrast. Definitely some kind of skull. Not sure if it's a warning or what, but if we head over here, wait till we get inside and see what is inside this shack. So when you head online, the first thing you can see is there's tons of candles and the music changes definitely something crazy going on here As you can see there's beds everywhere with dead bodies in them I think there's a total of 10 yeah 10 beds plus possibly some kind of a leader up there everyone is dead candles burnt everywhere this place is definitely a crazy mystery let me tell you now one thing that first catches my eye when you get in here, it takes you a little while not to know this is here. I want to look at this first because everything else we do is kind of predecessor of that. But if you search this chimney, you don't find anything too crazy. But if you watch real quick, it's actually behind me. It's an aged pirate rum. That's right, an aged pirate rum. It doesn't just say rum or gin like we usually get in the game. This is an aged pirate rum. Why do all these people in here have an aged pirate rum? Were they a shipwrecked pirate crew that ended up in the shack and then went kind of crazy and all died? I'm not quite sure. The next thing you want to check out while you're here is this letter. We're going to read this letter real quick and then we're going to look around and see if we can figure out this mystery. So the weird thing about this letter is it looks like it's tight on the letterhead here on the paper which is really weird for this time or era to have a typed letter that definitely is not scripted or written with a fountain pen that definitely is typed so they definitely went to some kind of trouble to make sure this lasts so everyone can read it if we go ahead and read it this is what it says mysterious sermon so this guy was like a preacher of some sort to this pirate cult or something 
at the second hour under the half moon by the great love and grace of our savior, Kakoaba, voyager of time and galaxies. We cast off our corporal shells so his vessel can take our spirits to the promised realm to live in peace and power until the 2000th year when we will return for the new chosen and worship again once again at the peak of Mount Sean in his love we rejoice always so we take a look there's a couple things we want to look at in this letter at the second hour under the half moon what we want to do is come back to this shack after we do one more task at the second hour so two o'clock in the morning to see if something mysterious happens voyager of time and galaxies time travel there is another mission in red dead redemption 2 that seems to point towards time travel we cast off our corporate shells so did these people commit suicide in a mass cult suicide and release themselves to some core of spirit or entity of time and galaxies we're not quite sure there's more to look at definitely we're going to go check out what's at peak the peak of mount sean which is in the grizzlies we're going to go check that out next before we leave the shack though i definitely want to point out a few things there are quite a lot of different kind of bottles around here every one of there's a tons of these bottles right here whoops get a good view of it these bottles here are some sort of elixir or cordial elixir that is supposed to cure cholera that's right so there's a bunch of those bottles there's one over there there's two over here some on the shelf behind us uh, these guys have some over there also there's a lot of these purple bottles too, which we can't tell what's there. That looks like it's some sort of special mixer. And there's also a few of these bottles on different people's tables and on the shelves. These say they are horse medicine, large horse medicine pills. Now, why would all these people have all these on their night table? If these people are taking large amounts of horse medicine, horse reviver type medicine, definitely is not going to be good to the human body, that is for sure. The last thing we want to point out before we leave the shack and head over to Mount Sean is if you look at this skull, or sorry, this skeleton, there definitely is something awry and not quite right. If you look at the sternum there, that definitely is not a bone right that's not a bone that's some sort of chest plate this guy was wearing before he died and if you look closely at the eyes and the head shape what does that look like to you i mean no one really knows what aliens look like but we all know what we perceive them to look like in our society that definitely looks like an alien head to me if you take a look at some of the other people that you could see their bodies this guy's got one also this guy's got one also so this was like their crest you can't really see this guy but you could maybe now that's definitely a bone can't see that guy I think there's another guy over here you can see this guy is pretty dang good these guys definitely had some sort of cult going on to worship aliens believe they all killed themselves as you can see this guy's got his hand on the cup they definitely drank something and they all died for the worship of their cult leader who also is down there dead what did they go for why did they do this was there something they knew that we didn't know let's go over to Mount Sean and see if we can figure it out All right the next place you gotta go of course is Mount Sean with a spectacular view of Big Valley that's right take a look at the map you guys can see where we are right up here on Mount Sean it's definitely a hike to get up here there you go we're up here on Mount Sean on top of this plateau is this really crazy I mean it's not a crop circle a rock circle this is definitely intriguing everything is placed here perfectly there's some markings on some of these rocks looks like they're pointing directly northeast south 
Well, there's some more rocks here. It looks like it's some sort of a clock, right? That one's yellow. It should be a yep, mark right there. Yep, some sort of a clock of some sort. The yellow one, if you see, the only one that's yellow is pointing to two o'clock. That's right, two o'clock. That's pretty cool. Now we gotta go back to the shack at 2 a.m. and see if anything spectacular happens. Right, guys, you can see we've made it back. It is 2.10 a.m. right now. If you come over here real quick, this is what we're all been waiting for. It happens pretty quick. We've got to watch pretty closely. If you walk up into the house now after you've gotten the letter and you've gone to Mount Sean and taken a look at the monument, you get this awesome visual. Check that out. Right there. There they go. <laughs> that is about it, but look at that. There's aliens in Red Dead Redemption. They came down. Were they going to try to abduct us and saw that it wasn't someone that was part of their cult and they left quickly? Not sure. This is definitely a strange, strange story that happens here in Red Dead Redemption 2. That's right. Let me, guys, let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys think. Could they possibly build this into some kind of DLC? I really think they could. Will they? Not really sure. Definitely isn't much information about that, but there is definitely some aliens in Red Dead Redemption story, so there could be something that happens that portrays to that. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more Red Dead content, online and story, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime. But until then, see you later.